Hey guys, welcome to Watch These Films with Bianca Bardet. I'm your host, Bianca, and today I will be talking about a slasher film called Slaughter Eye. Great title, huh? Well, actually, it was not the original title. The working title was April Fool's Day. Uh, not to be mistaken with the other film, April Fool's Day, uh, released by Paramount the same year, and that's the reason they decided to change the name. Well, this is apparently brought to you by the people who brought you Friday the 13th. Not exactly. They're kind of fu fudging a little right here. Um, it's actually one of the people that produced Friday the 13th, I think, uh, and, and the guy who made the original music score. Uh, you know, they wanted to they wanted to cash in, basically, is what happened, like Hollywood always does. But this film is actually not technically Hollywood because it was filmed in um, the UK. Uh, there are several British actors in it, um, possibly all British, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, they do have an American accent and it's a little bit strange sometimes, it sounds bizarre. Uh, but if you can sit through the strange dialogue and the odd accents, um, I was able to. It kind of adds to the charm and the mystique, right? Uh, <laughs> it's a great little film. Okay, so it was written and directed by three people, which is odd. I mean, <laughs> that's a first. George Dugdale, Mark Ezra, and Peter Lytton. Uh, the biggest star in the film is Carolyn Monroe. She was also in Maniac, uh, which some of you might really like. It's a good little slasher film too. And several uh, Hammer films. She plays the world's oldest high school student in Slaughter High. She is 36 years old playing a high school student. That's a first. Um, She's a very beautiful woman, but when I first saw the film at Horror Remix on the big screen a few months ago, I was a little taken aback and I was thinking, she's a teacher, right? Oh, she's one of the students. How old is she? <laughs> it's not a big deal anyway, but it's a little bit funny. Um, uh, it's a well-paced film. It's, it's kind of a, reve a revenge slasher type of film, borderline parody. Uh, it, it kind of pokes fun at itself. It, it's um, about a nerd named Marty who, it's, his birthday falls on April 1st, so the cool kids, the 36 year old high school students who have been around for 20 years, they decide that they are going to show Marty that he's a nerd and they're just gonna bully him and humiliate him on tape and and you know it's terrible poor Marty right um, well Marty gets his revenge ten years later he invites well anonymously of course we don't know it's Marty anonymously invites these same bullies to meet at their old high school which has subsequently been closed uh, you'll find out why but they made at the old high school and they find that their lockers still have some of their things in it and ooh, they try to figure out who invited them and why they're there. But while they're doing that, they're having sex and doing coke and smoking pot and just, you know, craziness ensues. There's motorcycles and all kinds of things. Uh, the film has nudity, both female and explicit male nudity. Okay, you're gonna see a lot of Marty. Um, <laughs> overall, it has some really, really great gore. I think that was probably the strongest part of this film. Uh, some creative kills. There's some kind of scary scenes in this, you know? It's a little bit intense. You see some guts and things like that. I mean, it's not for kids unless you have some cool kids. Um, a little bit of a sad note. Simon Scudamore, he plays the films, he plays Marty, and he's also the antagonist or the villain. He actually, in real life, committed suicide shortly after the production of the film for unknown reasons. It's not really known, but it makes it kind of hard to watch, you know, the bully scene especially. Uh, it's kind of sad, but if you can just get past that and, and give it a shot, I give it three and a half out of five stars. 
Um, it's available on DVD. It wasn't for a while. Uh, it, it was only available on VHS, but it didn't. It wasn't the complete cut. I think they cut out a lot of the gore. But now it's on DVD. Uh, Lionsgate, I think, is the distributor, and it's on Netflix, but not streaming. So maybe soon that will change. So as I said, Slaughter High, 1986, three and a half out of five stars. Uh, it's got a lot of what the fuck moments. You're gonna like it. I recommend it if you haven't seen it. If you have seen it and it's been a while, watch it again and maybe let me know what you think. Okay guys, have a great day and I'll see you next week. Bianca Barnett, goodbye. Yay! Yeah.